Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GMX. So in this video, I will be talking about Jam 2020 application form fill up. So you are Jam 2020 exam qualified and now you have to fill up the application form. So to fill up the application form, you just need to follow a lot of steps because because of COVID-19, COVID, uh, uh, because of this lockdown period, you won't be able to submit all of your documents. So that's the main problem. So you have to uh, fill up the application form slightly in a different way okay so that uh, uh, everything gets everything goes fine right so two years back i filled up this application for myself and i did everything well and of course that's why i am in iit right now so whatever i will be showing you in this video everything everything that means every steps that you need to follow okay and i will be showing you uh, how you can fill up your application form if you don't know anything okay you can do it do it from your mobile phone also and uh, you don't need to go any cafe to do that. Okay, you can do it uh, in your home, right? Because of this lockdown period, you can of course do that. So whatever, let's uh, do that. So it is it is Jam 2020 uh, website. Okay, that is conducted by IIT Kanpur, and you just have to come to this website, and a lot of things will be provided over here. But what you need to do, you don't need to read anything. Okay, you can read of course, but you not don't need to follow anything because I will I am guiding you, so you don't need to do anything from here. So first go to this jobs portal that is candidate por uh, candidate portal so where you can uh, log in your uh, id of you can log in you can access your details okay so click on that this portal or you can click on that or you can click on jobs portal on that okay for uh, wherever you what, whatever you want you can click on that and you, this type of font you will find okay and where you can you just have to log in with your id and password so i want to uh, thank to uh, Giriraj who gave me his username and password and that's why I mean I, I can be I am able to make this video so that many uh, of students like him get help okay so thanks to very very thanks to Giriraj okay and he has got I think 61 to 62 marks okay that's great so whatever just after coming to this after doing the login okay what you need to do you just need to download the template the undertaking template okay where uh, wh what uh, implies that you are not able to submit uh, some selected documents and you will submit those documents later on that undertaken undertaking form uh, mentions that okay or implies that okay so click on that and of course download the uh, undertaking template in PDF format okay don't download in docs format that will be a little bit uh, complicated but download that in PDF format and up when you click on that a PDF file like this will be downloaded okay so just take a printout of this PDF file okay and then fill up this PDF uh, PDF fill up this form okay uh, with pen of course we, uh, it will be good if you uh, uh, fill up this form with black pen okay black ball pen okay so uh, so first you have to put your name email enrollment ID okay so and everything whatever you need to fill up everything should be in capital letter remember this one everything should be in capital letter okay so first uh, put your name then put your en enrollment id then uh, the test paper okay the first test paper second test paper because for you uh, two test papers is possible okay for you uh, two test papers are possible to appear in the examination but most of the students appears in one ex one test paper one exam so put that one over here and uh, put the all india rank over here okay corresponding uh, for the corresponding test paper then put your category then pwd status and this section which is more much more important and the most important part of this uh, uh, undertaking right so what you need to do you need to select those documents which you are not able to submit right now for example let's you don't have your category certificate then most of the cases it will happen it will occur okay so if you do un, if you are not able to uh, fill up this category certificate okay or get the uh, category certificate then what you need to do you just have to tick a uh, you just have to put a tick mark over here before this okay the, if you have put this tick mark that means you will submit these documents later on and now you are not submitting this okay and they will accept that because of this lockdown period okay so take a uh, put a tick mark over here and if you don't have your mark sheets take a uh, put a tick mark over here if you don't have your degree certificates put a tick marks uh, over here okay so that's how it works okay so if you don't have all five documents all five all of the five things then uh, tick uh, tick marks everything okay so that's how it works 
finally do a signature and parent signature and place and date so after get uh, printing out this uh, blank document fill up with black pen with capital letters and finally uh, sub, uh, take a scan okay make uh, make a, another pdf where which implies the uh, field of application form okay from cam scanner or office lens like apps okay and i am sorry if you are getting a lot of noises because uh, i am not able to make the video in the my room because my roommates are there and they generally get disturbed so i can't be able okay to make this video in a silent place uh, i am just making in the uh, hostel terrace so it's i think it's very noisy but uh, please i i am sorry for that okay so, but i am trying to uh, provide you every information just if you are able to get that don't worry okay just uh, focus on the video then after getting this undertaken after filling up these things take a uh, pdf file make a pdf file of this field application form okay then come to the website then click on this application form tab application form filling tab okay so after clicking on that you will find one uh, font that will be like that okay so once you click that so this kind of font will font will appear so you need to fill up this form put your birthday nationality category pwd address okay everything in detail i am not take, uh, telling you everything whatever is necessary that i will be take, uh, talking about okay so he has got 61 marks I have, you can see that then put your uh, qualifying degree okay that means your bsc or b form bca bsc everything whatever you have okay in most of the cases bsc occurs or bs okay so bsc then uh, put your discipline that uh, your university offers that uh, for him it's chemistry honors some for some students it will be chemistry major or some for some student it will be pcm or pcb like things okay that in physics chemistry math or physics chemistry biology so put physics chemistry biology or chemistry for him it's chemistry honors okay but this doesn't matter okay so a lot of examples are there so you can of course uh, uh, see whatever are given over here right so this is this part is also very important that uh, you have to fill up that uh, are you passed have you passed the examination or uh, you are waiting to get your result that means if you are in third year so you if you uh, you your third year examination i have uh, i hope uh, isn't over yet okay so that's why if you are in third year right now so your result will be awaited so you have to select this awaited but if you are jam 20 uh, if you are if you are quali graduation qualified or if you are already graduated in the last two years ago or one years uh, ago okay then you just have to click on this section passed then after clicking on that you have to put your year of passing okay that means in which year you have passed the examination okay but um, in most of the cases this awaited section will be filled up okay and okay so for past section also you have to uh, put your percentage of cgpa marks out of this okay so you can do this uh, yourself but uh, in most of the cases the this awaited would be uh, should be filled up okay so after filling up the first page just click on that documents upload and academic academic details so in most of the case, cases what will happen uh, because of this covid 19 you won't be able to submit all the documents okay and that's why you have to select that you have all certificates you have to select no but if you have all the documents then of course select yes but what happens you have to select this no because you will not be uh, you, you won't have all the documents okay so after getting after filling up no first upload the undertaking form that means this form after filling up and making a video of a file okay so you can do that in from by cam scanner or office lens like apps or many more apps are present so upload this file and the, remember the file size every file size should not exceed 4 mb okay it should be that means it should be less than 4 mb okay so that generally happens and that generally it's normal okay uh, it generally uh, becomes like more than uh, uh, in maximum it, it can be 1 mb okay so don't worry about, about that then just upload your category certificate that is sc st obc whatever it is and don't uh, don't forget that your category certificate would be like your obc ncl certificate if you are obc if you are an OBC, uh, OBC, then upload your OBC NCL certificate, not the normal your state wise whatever OBC certificate you have from your state or you got from your state that would that won't be uh, accepted. Okay, so just upload the NCL certificate that will be available from uh, SDO or BDO. Okay, so if you don't know, just you can WhatsApp me or you can uh, uh, you can of course uh, uh, 
call me sometimes okay otherwise you can just tell me or comment me i will make another video on obc ncl certificate okay then uh, finally upload your 10th certificate okay whatever your 10th certificate has okay then put your class 12 10 plus 2 uh, university name or board name then passing year then the subjects or papers taken okay then uh, upload your class 12 mark sheet okay 10 plus 2 mark sheet and finally you have to uh, submit your academic details okay so this is very important so you have to uh, submit your academic details and what happens in most of the cases your university provide provides percentage marks or cgpa marks that means your university doesn't provide letter grades that means a b c d like things okay in most of the cases you, you uh, your university provides let, uh, percentage marks or cgpa marks that's why you have to put no over here but in some cases if your university provides letter grades that is a b c d like this not marks or percentage or cgpa then put yes okay so and if you after putting yes how it works okay you just have to put that on okay you just need you don't need to need add records okay but if you in most of the cases you have your university will provide percentage marks okay that's why you have to select no after selecting no click on add records so what happens when you click on add records first you have to select you have to uh, uh, put all the marks all the uh, subjects all the subjects marks total marks everything you have to put so there will be two options first one your university has year option or your graduation uh, would be like year system or semester system in most of the cases nowadays semester system occurs otherwise uh, in year system what you need to do select first year select if you have semester then select first semester and second semester marks but if you don't have semester you have year system uh, for example in my case what happened uh, i uh, my uh, my university provided uh, year system marks okay or my examination uh, was taken in ER system okay so I selected I selected not applicable okay because I don't have sem any semester like things okay so but for your case if you have uh, semester things so put first semester then put your title of the paper that means for one paper then marks obtained and then total marks similarly for first year second semester do the same thing and finally click on add so I have added two things for first semester two semester but if you have your if your university has year system then click on not applicable title of the paper uh, the marks of the paper and total marks on in the paper then click add okay so now how uh, this is how it works okay so you have to select all semester marks or all year marks and all subjects okay so after adding one subject okay suppose let me let me add anything okay so I'm not adding uh, anything because it's his account so I don't want to do anything uh, wrong with him okay so you can put and finally click on add so after adding one uh, add another subject then finally add all the subjects what you have if you have if your university provides language subjects environmental science English whatever you have put everything add everything okay because uh, and suppose you are in third year so you don't have your third year marks that means you just you just have to add the subjects or the uh, subjects or the marks on in those subjects till second year or till fifth semester if your uh, university has semester system i hope it's clear if you don't if it's not clear then you can whatsapp me if it's not clear otherwise don't hesitate just fill up the application form nothing matters okay uh, open your mark sheets okay see the uh, marks and the subject name just uh, put the names and Put everything everything uh, it doesn't matter okay just put the marks carefully okay so finally uh, after adding these uh, all the subjects okay so in graduation subjects and their marks okay just go to third section that is program choices that means you have to select your iit that means suppose i am that would be your first choice that means uh, suppose you you want to select you want to give the first choice that is iit bombay select iit bombay select program what is your program you, if you are from chemistry that's why msc chemistry but here what happens this uh, department in the last year what happened msc phd dual degree in energy science and engineering they generally mailed you and you have to fill up this application form in different way but this year i am seeing that uh, this has been added in the iit uh, jam website so it's great so, okay this course is very very good so if you are not getting good iits then you can select that but he is from chemistry so iit bombay chemistry so you can see that uh, okay so you just have to click on add preferences and you can get the all application all the number of seats everything okay so click on add preferences 
Okay, so first preference is IIT Bombay. Suppose second preference is, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think IIT Delhi, Kanpur. Okay, so select IIT Kanpur, select your program, MSc Chemistry, and click on Add Preference. So uh, this is how it works. Then let's click on third IIT Delhi, let's choose IIT KGP, then select the program, Joint MSc PhD, Nuclear Medicine and Chemistry, select Chemistry, then Add Preferences. Okay, so after adding all the preferences, that means first choice is IIT Bombay, Kanpur, KGP. Okay, so this is how it you can fill up your choices and how you can fill your choices. I have made already one video, so check the video. Uh, check my previous videos you will get the video how should you fill up the application form that means the last video of course okay so check the video and first choice means they will of course try to provide you this iit based on your rank okay but your rank is too much then you won't get this iit you, you can get this iit or this iit like that okay i hope uh, this uh, this doesn't matter so select the cho choices that uh, where you want to go wh which iit you want to give the most preference okay then select in that way and select all the IITs. Don't skip anything. Select all the IITs, all the everything, all everything. And suppose you have to, the, in the fourth choice, you can, want to select again IIT Bombay, other department. So click on IIT Bombay. Click on IIT Bombay, yeah. Then choice, suppose energy, energy department. Okay, so click on energy. Finally, click on add preference. Then you can see that IIT Bombay, this has been added in the fourth section. So I am removing everything from his account because if he can fill up this form. Okay, so you can, this is how you can add all the choices. I'm sorry about the noises. Okay, finally, it's the declaration form. So click on accept and finally save and view and finally save and proceed to payment. So you have to pay, uh, pay the application form that is I hope 10,000 for OBC general and others for other seats, maybe 5,000. Okay, so you have to fill up, pay the application fees. Okay, so you can do that, of course. So I'm not doing anything else. So this, this is how you can fill up your application from, from your home. So if you have any problem, take a screenshot, do WhatsApp me and you can, uh, I can uh, solve your problem or I hope they, uh, you don't have, you, you won't have any problem after seeing this video. Uh, fill up the application from how I told you. Okay. And I think everything will be fine. Okay. So that's all about this video. If you have any query, just do comment below. I will be happy to help you. I will be happy to reply all those comments. So that's all about this video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.